Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Exiles 4. Sorry, we had a bit of a short cut at the end of the video last time. Uh, I've got I've got a family member in the hospital right now, and uh, I wanted to make sure to take that call. So, we're back at war over here, um, fighting Austria, trying to take some land. Uh, unfortunately, Bohemia did get pieced out of it early, um, and we're forced to break their alliances as well, which is actually, like, their alliances with me, which is a little bit annoying. Um, that re uh, resolved itself in time. Uh, do I need to go and siege this? I don't think it's going to matter now, because the I, I, reason I want to rush the sieging here is because if Hungary sieged it, they would hold on to it. So I can afford to wait a tick over here, and instead what we're going to do is we're going to make sure to beat up Austria. I mean, they're already pretty keen on leaving the war. So we should be able to peace out at our leisure. But let's do this. Resiege this. Although since there's no fortress over here, we can um, we can take it in the peace deal. Okay. Was it Savoy wants out finally? Now, this doesn't give any land to France. Now, which part of Savoy? If I look at France, strategic utility, but they don't care about other countries taking... So they don't actually have claims over it or anything like that. So I don't think France is going to be super pissed if I just let them peace out. Illinois, all treaties with Austria. Give us some money. I'm going to accept. Okay. We need a fair amount of war reps out of all this, which is nice. Hopefully I didn't disappoint France with any of that. I think we're going to be okay, though. I can cancel the Curry Fakers over here with Florence. And what I'll do is I'll just make sure to do a round of making sure all of our allies are maxed out. Which actually, how's, uh, how's Serbia over here? Actually, if we improved with you, I don't really care. I mean, that's threatening countries. I guess we'll keep that going. If we improve relations with Serbia, I think by the time this war is over, we'll be able to soak them in. So let's do that. I mean, I could feed them land, but I think right now it's going to be easier to just clear it, to take some territory. I, feeding, or sorry, it'll be easier, better maybe if we cleared up a diplomatic um, relationship slot. Um... We could feed you land, so that way we could integrate them later, as opposed to um, coring it ourselves, but I think this is fine. It's such a puny little thing, and I don't think there's any advantage to having it generate. Like, it doesn't have any claims or anything. Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay, all y'all, get your butt over here. And we'll go and smash this Brandenburgian army. Brandenburg was... I thought they were keen to get out before, but... Maybe something changed, or maybe I'm just misremembering because of Bohemia. Culture, culture, culture. So 42% war score over here with Austria. Now, there's still tons of ticking war score still to be gotten. Um, we're clearly winning the war overall. Uh, I mean, they still have a lot of troops, admittedly. Now, I mean, I would like to just have this war... My grand captain has died. I think I definitely want to get another one of these. We'll take the manpower modifier. Also, we can change our policies, which we're going to do. And we're going to focus here instead on military. So we can power through these ideas. And then get the tech. We might still have the 5% um, increased tech cost, but that's going to be okay. I'm just going to balance these two here. I'm going to come to siege. Hopefully... I don't think Serbia is going to... Oh, Serbia won't because they're vassals, so that's going to be okay. I'll stick around here to finish the siege. It's going to be all right, just to make sure. Austria is still the emperor. Surprise, they're so weak, you know? Maybe someone else could have done it. What are you doing, actually? Yeah, we move now. I'm going to try to catch this... Uh... Polish army, especially if Serbia is going to be doing this. Well. Um, yeah, let's go. So it's going to be Highlands. There's a lot of fog of war back here. Oh, that's not Polish. It's an Austrian army. Now, 
Okay, Austria has gotten Tech 10. They were 9 when they started. I don't think that's going to be a deal breaker. 2 to 1, Highlands. The only question is, is there more dangerous stuff over here? But not that close. I'm going to go for it. Yeah, he even didn't reinforce with this unit, so I don't think they're very keen to jump in. Well, he's moving in now. Just a minus one on us, and they have slightly better military tech. But we have better morale. Okay, they have another army here. That's Poland. Now, Poland's still on nine. Yep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for them to lock, and then we're going to attack in here. It's going to be another Highlands attack. But with basically two to one numbers and some buddies around... Yeah, we're going to jump in on this. That's going to be great. Let me do a shift consolidate to make sure we have as many full strength regiments as possible. And Serbia is going to jump in on here as well. Not the uh, It's not the cleanest. It's not like we were, you know, we want a little bit of a breather before we jump in and much more. But that was a pretty good opportunity right over there. And I like that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this way. Get some reinforcement ticks by the time we get there. Yeah, you're going to start running. I could just turn on some... Carpet sieging. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is siege Poland's capital right now. It doesn't have a real fort, so hopefully it's not going to be too difficult. Of course, my own capital doesn't have a real fort either. I keep talking about moving it, but it's like, it's such a cost, and I'm not I'm never sure where I want to actually put it. I would like to catch these small Austrian armies. I don't know where France is. Yeah, they're moving in over here too. So there you go. I'll, uh... Wow, these flags look the same. <laughs> okay, Serbia's leading the uh, siege, which is great, because it'll actually give it to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take half my army here, this half, and just move it out, just to limit how much attrition we're taking. But I want to make sure I take that, because if we can, you know, rip this apart, that'll be good. And if we can break your um, alliances with Austria, that'll be probably very valuable. The more we can weaken Austria's alliance web, the better. As long as I don't think they'll be able to replace it with a more powerful ally. That'll be the one thing to keep an eye out for, but I don't really know what that would be. Although at some point, Austria and France could become friends, but no, really, because they're going to be rivals forever, unless one becomes too weak and then it doesn't matter anymore. Um, but I'm like, ah, oh, they'll probably still both, they'll probably both stay Catholic. Well, it'll be interesting if our little center of conversion over here does some funny shenanigans. I mean, it's already converting Graz, so that's handy. And there's some reform going on over here, too. Yeah, that's each going okay. Here. We're nearly out of manpower. And we are going to take some attrition hits just doing sieging in general. Um, next idea. I don't want to do the next religious idea, although that is really nice. Um, just because we're going to need some, money, some admin power to do some coring here. Now, of course, we're going to be taking some unlawful territory, but I don't think the Emperor's going to be able to do anything about it. We're going to have a truce. It's going to be very unlawful in their eyes, because it's going to be theirs. But tough. Right here. Pull us down to medium. Um, let, me, let me get their capital, and then see what they have to say. So yeah, I'm not going to take the religious ideas, although that is a really nice discount. What's next level? Oh yeah, it's the CB stuff, which we may put into use. I don't know. We'll see. I'm happy the Ottomans didn't jump on me while I was doing this. That would have been kind of annoying. One Siege of Warsaw. So I think what's going to happen now is I'm going to have a little chat with Poland. So, I'm going to want these three problems. Whoa, really? I mean, I know it's a co-belligerent thing. Also, coalition? Really? Huh. Huh. I'll lose five development. I'll gain four development. Which will be in my capital that I might not want to keep. Would be nice to do a humiliate. 
I guess maybe we just keep fighting them. You have no money, which is interesting. I mean, pillage, war reps, humiliate is, I guess, what we're going for. What's my current aggressive expansion? I mean, obviously we're going to get some over here. It's so like, if I fling over to Austria, and I say, hey, Austria, I want this, this, that... That's a lot of aggressive expansion. Now I have low prestige, and that is hurting it, but not that's not what's breaking things. Wow. Could be interesting over here. It's not even in the HRE. Still does a lot of aggressive expansion, although potentially with different people. Well, all right. We might end up just doing something like just taking a little territory here or something and finding other ways to punish. But I definitely want se separate war goals or uh, peace outs here to get maximum amount of money and maximum amount of damage. I mean, we're going to want the double humiliate. We're going to want all of that. We need some more war score over here. same place? Oh, they might. I guess I could have given them different areas. Ottomans declare war on the Mamluks. Well, I'm happy they're going in that direction, not mine. That's at least something. Right, I still want to admit, although I don't think we're going to need very much admin power overall. I'm still going to be able to ask for this even without it being occupied. So that's not a big deal. We're still getting our ticking war score over here, although we are up to 83 overall, which is good. I do want some more war score against Poland specifically. nice. We're not going to get much from occupying the uh, non-forts, but we'll see. Stonic Order, Stettin, Spy Network stuff, that's all fine and good. Yeah, they cleared all that, but that's going to have to be okay. Um, yeah, come over here. We'll group up for safety. Hang on. I don't know if I want you... Well, I guess we could. I want to stay near this guy. I wonder if I stand here if I can reinforce. No. So maybe I'll just stand here, or tell you what, it's going to be a little long and awkward. Yeah, that pathing is pretty awkward too. We can consider something like that. I do have the second leader. And uh, you're going to do that. Okay, so just stand here and we'll be ready to reinforce this siege. I'll take the Diplo rep, because we are going to integrate Serbia in a second, is in theory what's going to happen. Okay, you are willing to do this now. Oh, you have a, you do actually have a lot of money. No, I wasn't able... I can't, I can't shift click. Oh my god! Maybe maybe it's a mod I have. Maybe it's the longer the, the longer screen mod. It's definitely messing with some of the gold asks over here. Um, I could piece you out now, but I think I kind of want to ask for as much money as possible. Especially since I don't get all of it. Let's finish this siege, and then see where we're at. Um, these peasants are fine, actually. We want the we want to peace out before they take Vienna, because we don't want to lose the war score from us holding Vienna. But then we're very happy that they're going to exist there, because I think they are specifically linked to this province. Therefore, they should still be Austria's problem when the war ends. get back to you in a second here. Oh, they are threatened to siege my capital. And some territory over here. Hopefully we get it in this tick. If we don't... No, we didn't get it in this tick. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and negotiate. Slight less money. That's going to be okay. Um, oh, well, hold on. That's... 
I'm going to take these two. Pillager capital. War reps. Wait, pillaging... Adds aggressive expansion. Which makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Seven. Because you're still taking development. Ah. Okay, it's just Austria. Although, there's, there's aggressive expansion going other places as well. I wonder, I can do this, and then I can wait as long as possible before piecing out Austria. Not that that's going to really burn away a lot of aggressive expansion. We're not going to take much territory from Austria, but I mean, ultimately, we're taking territory somewhere. The more we can hurt Austria, the better, but hopefully we'll hurt them in other ways. So yeah, I'm going to peace out just Poland right now. We'll take these two provinces, and we're going to pillage their capital. And this is not super concerning right now. Okay. Core core. It's nice because it does give us a little bit more state. So, right, Brandenburg's still up there. Let's go and uh, just visit Brandenburg's capital, Berlin. And, I mean, yeah, because I'm not too worried about here anymore. Still would like to not let the uh, let the siege break. Oh, we're black flagged. I don't think we're going to get it back here. Would walking into Bohemian territory help? No, because, because they're not allies. So, you're going to have to come down this way. Let me maintain the diplomat with Serbia for a sec. I'm still hoping to start integrating them immediately. Are they 190? Oh yeah, they're 200. We're in a war together for plus 25. Uh, it's hard to know exactly where this is ending because I'm not, you know, going to just eyeball the math here. But I think we'll be okay to start integrating basically right after the war. Brandenburg Black Flag? You must have been in a separate war than this one? Interesting. Anyway, let's go to Berlin. Yay, culture. Why don't I just resiege that? Again, we want to buy as much time as possible. Uh, France is moving in on them. All right. Presumably you feel confident enough to take that. Looks like that is going to be the case. 4.7 round. Happy you're on my side. Separatists. One of our war allies might help take that, actually. It'd be nice if they did it before they finished that siege, but it might be hard because the timing's so tight. So there's going to be the extra 10 years or whatever of separatism. I think I'm in Berlin, so I'm going to do that. Because I think you'll actually unblack flag there and we'll be fighting. I mean, we were going to win anyway, but it didn't hurt to make sure to throw in a few more things. Now, if they do spread it to other places, yeah, France is going to take care of it, which is what I expected. I was pretty sure they're only new to the one province, and then we're going to be okay. The Goose is insulting us. Yeah, they feel like they can do that because they're being guaranteed by uh, the Ottomans. Um, are you really going to complete this? I mean, yeah, okay. France is jumping in too, so... That's obviously going to work out just fine. Now, I don't think I want more aggressive expansion from pillaging that capital. So, I really don't need to do anything over here. Oh, you oh we have no war score against them. Well then. Without a cannon, I'm going to pull back out for a sec. I would like to merge these armies. But I don't want to change the siege ownership to France. Which might be what would happen. Right 
repair node. Oh, I guess you're being repaired. Okay. Money's very good. In fact, I could even consider starting some construction here. Let's take a quick look. Production. Yeah. Uh, one, two. What the heck? Then I'll, I'll leave a buffer here. Again, we'd still like to repay those those loans, which might finally happen. Turns out war's good for money. Um, it sounds like it should be some sort of rule about acquiring things. France running around over here. CB expiring versus Ragusa with a diplomatic insult. That's fine. I don't care. Because I don't think I can do anything about it anyway. And we have no manpower. We are getting call for peace. Okay. Well. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to try to hold off for a little bit if we can. Rebel factions are brewing, but not too bad. Are you actually getting attrition out here? I mean, I guess we don't have a port here, but I'm actually surprised it doesn't count. Light bulb for defensive ideas, land maintenance. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to sit on this, so we'll do that. Which will also give me the 10% tax modifier, which is really nice. Everything siege except Berlin. War score. I mean, I don't need much. Sacking of Berlin Köln. Traditionally advancing armies expect to supply themselves from what they can plunder. So, um, we need better payment routines. So we could spend money, increase army professionalism, or we could be like, punish people. We make Brandenburg hate us, do more devastation, we lose prestige instead of a lot of money. Professionalism is nice. It's really nice, but I think I want the money. I don't know. I'm going to say punish. Siege of Berlin is over. So now, 99% war score over here. Um, yeah, not really anything we're looking for. I'm not going to... I could pillage it, pill it for Serbia. It does still give me aggressive expansion, though. It's not a way to avoid things. Um, and would send us over. So no, war reps, all your money on all treaties with Austria. We could uh, release a nation, which would weaken this country. It would it would weaken um, Brandenburg. Uh, improve the HRE, maybe, because of independent priests, or um, princes. It would cost me a little diplo power. Um, I don't think this is really going to do much for us by doing it, so I think I'm going to skip it. I'd rather, if I'm going to have aggressive expansion, I would rather do it against, I would rather have it uh, from Vienna, take it from Austria and weaken them. So I'm not going to do it here. We might not end up doing it from Austria either, depending on what the uh, um, the coalition could look like. Sending you home. So now it's just Austria, and we do have 100% against them. So there we go. Diplomat is back. So, if I wanted to take anything, that's pretty rough. Yeah. Again, Austria is going to have a truce, so they can't join right away, but a lot of others would. We do have the ticking war score. If I were to pillage your capital... Well, that's not bad. It's just Austria and Munich, and Mu and one tick Munich wouldn't uh, wouldn't do it anyway. What I think I'll do is I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until January here and check again to see where we are because they're only at, we're 51. I guess they have to drop below 50. And wait on the religious ideas one more second. Here. I want to pillage. Oh yeah, that would be good to me to Serbia. There you go. Just Austria, so I don't care. I'm going to humiliate you. War reps. All your money. That's an 84%. Well, because humiliate is quite, quite potent. We're going to do this. So we're not actually taking any land from Austria, which is what our war was started for. But I think that's okay. I don't... Well, actually, that would be adjacent to us. I think... 
this might work out very well for us. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Might be a target, might not be. But also weakens Austria some more, which I think is very good for us. Brandenburg, it mattered less, but I think this is okay. I think I kind of like that. I have enough money to embrace an institution right now. One of the reasons maybe to wait on... Um... Actually, yeah, it's going to be a little while before it spreads any further. I think I will just embrace now. Although, we really don't have any tech to grab right now. Because of the ahead of time penalty over here anyway. I guess we could wait before it spreads. I just have to maybe consider not stating things, which I'm already maybe thinking I'm not gonna. Okay. Um... Yeah, and then get the culture conversion discount. I'm still happy we spent some because we're capped. I'm trying to decide if I want to spend on our religious ideas or just hold on to it because we might embrace soon. I guess we're not we're not doing any missionary stuff this very second, so the Inquisition doesn't matter quite yet. So I guess I can wait a tick. We do have a government reform. Deliberative Assembly. I can't go Parliament. Royal Decree. More absolutism, which is great later on. Tradition decays. Not bad to prevent. Production efficiency is going to be great for money. Cheaper stability cost. Okay, States General, you don't have consorts or heirs. Oh yeah, four terms. Right, the states, the status versus the monarchists. This is like the, um, the Dutch thing, I think. General Estates is just production efficiency, is just army tradition decay, is just absolutism. It's, I, I find it hard to argue with absolutism in the long run, so we're going to rule by royal decree. Plus, it sounds awesome. Okay. Oh, can I take Defender of the Faith? I believe we have a mission for that, do we not? It is not Age of Discovery. We don't have 100% religious unity. So even if I became Defender of the Faith, it wouldn't help yet. Okay, so we'll wait a scooch. All for peace, you can go away, buddy. I think it'll process it at the end of the month. There we go. Diplomatically, unfortunately we can't... We don't have our alliance with Bohemia anymore. I did fail, you guys, I'm sorry. But maybe in six years we can get it back. Wouldn't that be nice? Serbia. Okay, we're just shy over here. I uh, I think I'm going to just give you a little gift. We don't really have to, but I want to get it ticking along. Group up. Rebel factions are theoretically brewing. I don't need manpower. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop my maintenance for a little bit. And then when this gets a little closer, we'll raise it up again. Let me save a few more bucks doing that. And I, we are going to want to embrace, although cool, any factory stuff. Hmm. Do I want to delay embracing? No. I'll, I mean, hmm. How is the spread? Okay, it is fully spread to this province, so first of all, I can cancel this. At least I think it fully spread to that province. It looked like it. Hmm. I think I should wait before I embrace. Um, because we still have, we have good sinks for admin and military in our ideas. And right now, even if we embrace, we couldn't take the diplo tech. So I'm going to live on the fact that we've got a higher diplomatic power pool over here to bank as much as possible. Um, and what the plan is going to be is going to be to pause, embrace, hit this at some point. It probably will still be ahead of time, but hopefully not as much. Now, I could sink some points into mercantilism. We could also do some more culture conversion. Now, we're going to get a discount for that later on, but 
it might be worth you know doing some of that now although we accept serbian bosnian and the rest of the cultures these are places that are still being court and have separatism so we can't do anything there anyway i don't think we're going to do a diplomatic dump so i don't want to spend too much i don't want to spend too much because we are going to want to embrace not too far away so maybe not a manufacturer even though the um the money for these because it does like multiply with so many other things can be really handy I mean, right now the payback period's a long time, but then you, you combine it with other things and it's fairly nice. Um, okay, that's a really good church. I'm going to build this one as well. And I'm going to build one workshop in Bosna. Okay, and then it's going to be going back to saving money, which, I mean, this is a misleading number because this Boils of War is basically infinite here. Um, next month, because this is the money we got in the peace deal. So our income is still legitimately high, like really high. And we are getting a lot of... Uh, war reparations. So spoils of war now, this is our privateering, and then the war reparations are in there, and we're making great bank from that. So all in all, I mean, it costs us a lot of manpower, but we did gain a little bit of land, we gained a ton of money, and we weakened Austria, which is very valuable. So that much is still nice. And over here, I'm going to end the video in just a second, but we are going to start annexing you over there. It's fairly cheap. I don't think it went. I misclicked. I missed the confirm button. I'm going to cancel the improved relations. And I'm going to send you out uh, to help with outrage countries. Which are countries that hate me because of, um, of aggressive expansion. Now, that's not really going to make much of a difference in terms of the actual aggressive expansion, but might help balance. Um, if we had taken the improved relations guy over here, he does burn away aggressive expansion faster. The plus 20% would actually help with that. And what I might do is I think I'll keep the Diplo rep guy while I'm um, annexing. Um, if I remember, which is unlikely because I think this is my last video for today, if I remember what I would like to do is switch the Diplo rep guy afterwards to help burn away aggressive expansion. Probably I'll forget. But you know, wouldn't it have been nice had I remembered? Um, we're going to want to build some of these manpower buildings later on too. Um, these are not great modifiers. We don't have a lot of base manpower in a lot of places, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.